So today in Beam and G Drive, we're going to be playing with two incredible mods. We have a dev quality buggy and we have a chopped down mini bus that turns into an absolute missile. So stay tuned until the end, hit that thumbs up button and let's jump in. So folks, for the first vehicle we're checking out, we have the Hell Tom Fab SS3 Dual Sport Buggy. This is awesome. This is pretty much a dev quality uh, vehicle here. There's been a lot of work put into this mod and this is actually the sand version. So we're here at Johnson Valley and I feel like this is going to be perfect for it. So real quick, let's look at the uh, interior. It is absolutely glorious looking. You have uh, functional switches. You have like an interior light here. Uh, there's headphones, which is really cool when you're driving. They actually shake. Uh, it's just really, really detailed and each uh, seat has a camera view. So if you're playing like, I guess in multiplayer, uh, you could sit in here and have your friends terrorize you. Or there's a little GPS uh, that you can try to guide them with. So this thing's got a lot of glorious ponies behind it. Uh, when I hit the gas, you're gonna notice the back end's gonna squat and the front's gonna pop up. You can actually pop wheelies with this thing. Actually, let's head out to the road before we hit the sand. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, this is gonna bring me pure joy here today. Hold on, let's head out. I just wanna do it do it on the road real quick because I think I can pop a wheelie there uh, without the assistance of the bumps. Uh, hold on, let's get up on the road. Man, it's so beautiful, and there's actually quite a few variations or configurations to this that we're going to check out, but check this out. So we'll kind of gas it, hold on, just throw it down, then up, up, hold on, we, I think we can do it better than that. Uh, let's wait, let's pick up some speed, I'm going to try to do it again here, and then, yep, come on. Uh, I thought maybe we could do this on the road, I think we have to do it more from a stop here. Uh, this is meant to be more on the sand, this particular version, there we go. <laughs> That's insane, but yeah, uh, let's go ahead and let's rip across the dunes here because this is what this is made for Like look at the back tires. It's basically shovels <laughs> They are gonna scoot that sand out Han. We're almost to the open area here. Gotta watch the rocks uh, Fun thing is you can keep the front end pointed up and like skip over a lot of stuff So it really does well over uh, obstacles and oh my goodness This might be one of the best buggies I've ever driven here uh, in Beam and G Drive. Like, I would take this over some of the ones in the game. Like, this is good. Like, I don't I don't even think I need, like, the Auto Bella or anything anymore. Like, I would totally drive this thing. Look at that. Look at the suspension float. Here we go. We're tearing up over the dunes. And, oh, my goodness. Don't flip. Don't flip. <laughs> oh, oh, there we go. So, yeah, that was fun. We're going to do one more run. Let's do this from the interior here. It's insane because, like, you can't really see whenever it, like, uh, Pops really also I need to move my uh, I think my field of view back a little bit uh, I feel like I should be able to see the steering wheel but yeah the uh, the front end pops up so aggressively like it's almost hard to see so yeah like I was saying there are multiple versions of this so let's go ahead and pull this over here uh, this was perfect for Johnson Valley but uh, here I'm gonna open it up and we're gonna scroll down and there you go there's the hell Tom fab ss3 so yeah you have the light sand car you've got the normal sand car there's a race car version of it which it looks like it gets rid of the sand tires I wonder if it's the same engine actually I think it is the same engine setup or at least close to it uh, looks like it's got the same uh, five speed and uh, the 6.8 liter v8 you got a light uh, pre-runner and then it kind of goes up from there. Look at this Tiger Shark. Uh, this thing's got a really cool paint scheme on it. It uh, looks like an old World War II uh, plane. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is pretty glorious too. I'm assuming the interior for the most part stays the same. We got a window net now. Uh, but yeah, other than that, it looks pretty much the same. I think there's uh, different bumper bars. Uh, obviously, this one's got the uh, the spares on it. And look, even like the, uh, the straps, the tie downs on the spares, you can see them rattling and moving. Like, there's a lot of attention to detail in this mod. And uh, this one feels pretty good over the uh, dunes, too. It feels a little more planet. doesn't feel as extreme. Like, that front end's lifting up. Uh, probably would go hit some of the trails with this. Uh, not necessarily the crawling trails, but I know there's some roads up. Here we go. Uh, That's what I was looking for. Look for the roads here. Hold on. I really do. Oh! <laughs> and we flipped it. I was going to light up the, uh, the lights real quick and see what we got there. That's nice. Hold on. Uh, we gotta get more. There we go. That's an extreme amount of lights. Hold on, let's put them to the test though. We gotta uh, turn the lights down a little bit here uh, with the sun. And oh my goodness, hold on. Let's get a little bit more twilight. There we go. It's not bad. 
Yeah, there's a there's a lot of light in here. Hold on, let's make sure we hit the interior switch too. That way you can see inside. Uh, so you got the light there. You got your starter. Like all the buttons, or at least most of the buttons, you can interact with. A lot of the other ones are like, uh, I guess you could say they're dummy buttons, but they are functional. You see like the fuel pumps, uh, radiators, and all that. So uh, maybe that'll be a thing in the future. Like we can interact with all the buttons in Beam and G. Uh, that way you have to do like a complete startup of your car. And I know it's hard for you guys to see, but yeah, the amount of light coming off the front end of this, like, I could totally do this. Uh, these trails are actually no match for it. But yeah, it just shows you how dark the rest of the map is. Probably be better to do this on, like, the hood cam here. Uh, yeah, it does pop up quite a bit, so it's a little hard to see where you're going. But, yeah, <laughs> it's got plenty of lights. I don't think lights are going to be a concern for this thing. So, we've showed you a couple versions of this. I want to take out one more, except for I want to make it a little more exciting here. I think we're going to go over to Utah, and we're going to see if the police can keep up with this. So, before we run from the police, this is the race version. There's something cool I didn't notice here. So, when we started up, uh, editor, please turn the ambience up quite a bit here. So, I'm going to restart. Listen to the, the radiator fans kick on. Like, that's pretty cool. Uh, at least I think that's what that is. It's got to be the fans. And then, yeah, you can rev it up here. Yeah, it sounds cool. Also, there's a rattling noise. I don't know if that's the buckles on the... Uh, maybe that's the buckle on the spare. That could be the suspension. The sound is really good on this mod. Uh, I must say. And also, this might be my favorite version. There's something about this uh, with the flat top uh, on it. This version looks really, really mean. Plus, I think with the particular tires, we'll be able to get on the road a little bit and not be completely out of control. Okay, so I think this is going to make this uh, fairly easy. As long as I don't make contact with the tires, uh, I'm assuming they're going to be upset with me because I am flying up here. Uh, also, I want to race these online. Like, I feel like a uh, race setup with the uh, the boys here would be absolutely amazing uh, because... Oh, on. Oh, got to get through the rock. Oh, no. You've got to be kidding. That's actually rather embarrassing. Hold on. We can back up over that. There we go. Yeah, the way this thing handles the asphalt, it's pretty good. Or No, they're not even after me. They're after somebody else. Yeah, this thing, uh, the race version, gets some decent grip. Okay, they're mad at me now. Oh, okay. That was a really quick chase. So as I was saying, this thing on asphalt feels pretty good. It slides, but it's definitely controllable, and I like the way it digs. Like, the, uh, the suspension is doing an amazing job here. Like, it feels out of control while being in control, and also Komodo just bounced into something. It's fine. Uh, but yeah, it's... I guess you'd call it the most out of control, controllable vehicle <laughs> I've ever driven, because it kind of makes you look like you're doing a really good job with some of the slides, even though it's kind of easy. Boop! Oh, there we go. Come on, you can't tell me that didn't tick them off. I thought one of the cops back there was after me. Uh, all right, maybe they only respond to me speeding. Well, I'm gonna speed by all of them here. Uh, I like to get out of the highway here. There we go. He's lit up now. Okay, let's see if we can get out of the highway. See what kind of top speed this thing's got. Uh, why am I even using the roads? I'm in a buggy. I can just cut like right across, uh, barring hitting like a massive rock. Oh my goodness. Okay, get some air. Oh, oh no. Okay, I thought the road was beyond here. The road's actually up on the cliff. Fine, uh, we hit it again. Uh, at least the roll cage is really nice. Oh, real quick, there's a switch. Uh, wait, what is this? Oh, you can actually hit those. So you can, uh, you can pop open the uh, doors to climb in. I guess you call those the doors. The I would s thought they were like window nets, but yeah, you can pop those. That way you can actually climb into it. That's actually a really neat feature. I like that. Okay, I don't know how interested they are in me right now. Uh, for some reason, they don't seem to aggro on this, but hold on, let's pick up some speed here. Uh, oh my goodness. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, come on. Okay, that was a save. I thought we were dead there. All right. Trying to get out of the highway here. Uh, some of them look like they're upset, and half the cops don't seem like they care. So it's fine. We're just going to slide here. Oh, 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 nice slide. All right. Let's see what kind of speed we can get here. Uh, oh my goodness. All right. They're kind of blocking the road. Hold on. Swing around. Uh, I'm about to go on oncoming. There's a lot of traffic uh, enabled right now. There we go. Uh, just get some speed. Oncoming, for some reason, is a little easier for me to dodge. On. We'll just shoot right back over here. I was closing up real quick. Oh, it's going to close up real quick here. Oh! Okay. Well, I must say, I don't think there's been a crash yet where everybody's died. 
So the roll cage is indeed doing its job. Um, I didn't even check our speed there. Okay, here we go. We're gonna go for one more run here. I just want a speed run. Uh, it doesn't seem like the cops are too interested in uh, actually chasing me. Uh, it's almost as if they read it as a cop too. Okay, it's fine. Just spin it around. Uh, I might have busted the wheel. Uh, it's fine. <laughs> just respawn. Here we go. All right, speed run. Let's see what we can get here. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's almost 120. Uh, there's still more. I just got to get in a little bit more of a straightaway here. There we go. Oh, cops are mad at something. Oh, are they finally mad at me? All of them are lit up. They're finally mad at me. you got to be kidding me. 140. Uh, I think 150. Oh, my goodness. Uh, these might be uh, Crash Hard Mountain worthy. Uh, yeah, about probably north of 150, maybe close to 160. I kind of ran out of uh, space there. Uh, once again, I mean, I hit a big ramp and like a wall at 150 and the damage is pretty minimal and we even flipped up upright here <laughs> this might be crash I mean I don't want to say crash proof it might be death proof so yes uh, you'll probably be seeing this thing again here in the future I feel like this will be the perfect candidate for the crash hard mountain but we are gonna move on uh, to our next mod but be sure to check this out in the uh, description so everybody knows about the bus the went word uh, I use it quite a bit. It's pretty cool. So we're going to spawn one in, but I have a mod here uh, that goes with this. So it's called the Ward Frame. So it's going to be a chopped bus. Let's go Ward Frame. Um, I think maybe I should probably spawn up a preset. Uh, you cannot switch it from the standard. It's fine. So I don't think there's actually any configuration. So I, I spawned it again. So I think you need to switch to the Ward body too. Oh my goodness. Stuff is falling. Oh, you can see it. There's a mini bus in there. Okay. I just gotta keep working on it until I get all the right stuff in. So after working with it for just a little bit, we finally have the chopped bus. Uh, there's a little bit you have to do with the configuration. This is the goofiest thing I think I've ever seen. Uh, the camera's a little screwed up. Even with like resetting it, it sets kind of far back. I think it's meant to set with the other bus. Uh, I didn't see any uh, configurations for it, but I mean, it's kind of cute. The steering is completely screwed up on it. <laughs> it steers so weird. Oh, what's the interior look like? Yeah, it doesn't fit many passengers, does it? <laughs> also, the uh, the handrails appear to be all screwed up and wobbly now. So yeah, um, you could pretty much, I, I guess you could put the Jados on this if you wanted to. Like it still uses a lot of the same bus parts. The only thing you gotta change is like the drive shaft, the body, uh, the frame, you gotta take off a couple things because if not, you'll have like floating windows and handrails. Uh, I must say, this thing turns great. It's a little wobbly feeling, but it is definitely a turner here. Uh, I like this. Uh, I kind of, hold on, we gotta put the Jados on it real quick. Where does it actually stick the Jados is the question. Body accessory, oh yeah, there's a body accessory for a bomb. Has that always been in there? Oh, it actually sticks the Jados on right. Nice, okay. So we have a mini bus with Jados. Um, this is definitely a combination. Also, I'm not 100% sure if I've got all the parts right, but I feel like for the most part, we've got the bus chopped down uh, the way it's supposed to be. Okay, so we're gonna use the cute little bus to do a police chase here. Can can you guys catch me? Uh, it does not like these Jados. Something is something's locked up, right? Or something dragging. I think it's just the Jados. It's like not meant to uh, spin the wheels that fast. Uh, oh my goodness. Watch out, everybody. I don't feel like I have quite the stopping power that I once had. Uh, also, the Jados are out of fuel. Am I locked up? Oh. <laughs> uh, we're going to ignore the whole fact the parking brake was on. Yep, Komodo's YouTuber vision kicked in, and I had the parking brake on. Honestly, I'm kind of having fun driving this. Uh, the cops are angry. We're going to say our escape point here is going to be the church. Because I feel like something needs to happen with this. Also, there's another police chase going on. Watch out. Hey, don't spoil my police chase. Oh, my goodness. It still has the wrecking power. Uh, trust me. You're not really losing a, a whole lot here. Let's go. Boom. Oh. I argue. Oops. Okay, we made the bus even shorter. Yeah, I'd argue this bus might be a little more deadly this way. Because I feel like it carries more speed. Like, it's not as heavy. Uh, because the damage we're doing to, like, some of these police cars and stuff when we hit them and other cars, like, we're completely obliterating them. Uh-oh. Uh, losing a Jado's probably not ideal. No, it still steers decent with it. 
I thought maybe he was going to constantly try to spin it around. Oh, okay. It is co going to the left a little bit. Okay. Oh, my goodness. I'm not going to make it far in this thing, am I? Uh, I hate to say it. I might have to rip off the Jados. It's fine. Okay, here we go. Oh, we are going way too fast here. Okay. I don't know how the brake... Oh, I think when I slammed on the brakes there, I think the tire might have popped. Now, watch out. Oh, my goodness. Okay. There's still quite a bit of protection for the front wheels. Uh... Yeah, okay, this is so unstable. <laughs> it was good. I think there's something stuck under my right front. Yep, there's another fail. Okay, Komodo's got some determination to actually make this work. Uh, you know what? Just... Oh, yes! That was awesome! Okay. Oh, was that the engine? Oh, yeah, I, I probably need that. That's fine. We'll use the fence. Oh, and we just took out another car. Uh, oh, my goodness. Okay, go. Yeah, this is turned into one of the most destructive buses I've ever played with. I mean, sure, you can have a ram plow, but mini bus with Jados, uh, this is working. Okay, trying to get over here. I'm going to run out of Jado fuel, ain't I? Uh, oh, I'm going to get through the toll booth. Uh, it's kind of hard to get through this because it, it's swaying now. Something I think is broken. Yep, something's indeed broken. Hello, cops. Um... How are you guys? So if police escape in the little chop down bus, I don't think it's possible. Let's do a speed run real quick. Uh, my goodness, this is fast. I like this though. Uh, it's fun. All right, so picking up nice speed here. Oh, just took out a car. Oh, 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 it is a rock. Oh my, okay. Yeah, there's a chance that I, I shouldn't be playing with this. It is a very lovely mod though. 